Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this very glowy, very autumny inspired makeup look. I know there's a lot of glow but still this lipstick and the hair and then the top it gives me autumn vibes. No seriously, I love the way everything turned out but I just want to mention that this makeup this tutorial is very very focused on the skin because the eyes are very very simple and the lips are also very simple but then the skin this skin that actually looks super natural in real life i promise you not as if i'm not wearing any anything but it looks very very decent amount of makeup you could wear this look wherever you want but I wouldn't be the kind of person that <laughs> would apply this look to go, you know, run errands or daily things because it took me quite a while to apply it, especially the lashes. However, I would wear it at a party. If you have any dinner parties going on in this period of time, this is very chic. If you're gonna take pictures, I can guarantee you this is gonna look beautiful. So, before we get into this, please make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button, make sure that you are being notified when I'm posting a new video. Now, if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. I've prepped the skin and now I'm going to move on with this brightening CC serum from By Terry. This color is limited edition, but I love to mix this with a tiny little bit of this color. This is in number four, Sunny Flash. This is going to give you a beautiful glow. Even if it's before applying foundation, it's still gonna shine through. Now, I want to mention that I do have applied self-tan so my neck and my hands are much darker than my face. One pump of this and then one pump of Sunny Flash. Mix it well before applying it. Here it is and I'm taking this. This is a powder brush from Kat Von D. I'm gonna apply this everywhere. Now, I would agree this looks kind of weird right now, but I promise you it makes a great luminous base. Next step is going to be even wilder. I'm now going to use this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, and this is an intensity one. Amazing contour product or bronzer, depends on the skin tone. Morphe M335 brush, and I am going to apply this where I want to contour. So, like right on my hairline. With a flat brush, I'll take the same product and contour the nose. Contouring the nose is something very different for each person. I, I have a very short uh, nose. I wish it was just a little bit longer. So if your nose is too long, you want to apply a little bit of shadow like right here. Kind of want to give the illusion that my nose is a little bit slimmer, but, but not smaller. I don't know if it makes sense. Now with that same brush that I've applied the By Terry Brightening CC Serum, I'm just gonna slightly blend this um, Tom Ford situation. If you want to give the give a little bit of contour to your jawline, you could do that. Now the trick is to blend it downwards. Like so. In today's video, I'm going to use La Sanciel from Guerlain. This is a very dewy, natural looking foundation. This is their newest foundation and I'm very happy to see that brands like Guerlain, they used to have like five foundation shades. I'm exaggerating, Guerlain, don't hate me. Uh, but they don't used to have a lot of shades. Now they came out with a huge range. I'll take this MAC brush. This is a dual fiber brush. This is great for uh, the step. And then first I apply the foundation. This is in the color 3W. 
so three warm so i apply first in the center area where i did not apply that contour so wherever i didn't apply the contour that's where i'm going to apply this foundation you might be thinking like why is this so dark i've got the self tan on and i like myself a bit darker call me crazy but i use self tanners since i was in high school I started with Garnier. He was so orange and it smelled so bad, but I still used it. It was the only thing I could afford and honestly, I think it was the only thing I could find on the market. Now with the same brush, I am getting over the areas where I've applied that contour. And you see, everything looks seamless. There are no harsh lines. Now, time for concealer. I'll use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I won't just use it to conceal the dark circles, but also to brighten the whole center of the face. Now, when you highlight this part of the face, okay, it's going to make you look more rested. It's going to brighten your whole face. Another part where you want to use a concealer or even a lighter uh, foundation would be like in between your eyebrows. And then if you do a straight line like this on the nose, the nose is gonna appear a little bit more narrow. One for two Zoeva brush. As you can see, the difference between my foundation and the concealer that I've used to highlight is not that big. I don't like it when it's a huge difference between the under eye and the rest of the face. Also, a very, very important thing is the quantity of each product that you're using. The more product you're going to use, the more your skin is not going to look like skin. But don't worry, like this comes with practice. So if you've done this, all these tricks and you look at yourself and you're like, oh, I, I think I look like a drag queen. Relax, okay? It's all about practice. Take back your foundation brush. Make sure everything is nice and blended. You don't want to see any lines between your concealer, foundation, and contour. Now the skin looks good. You, you don't see any harsh lines. Take your time to blend everything well. And if you still think like it's too much, take a beauty sponge. This is from uh, Fenty Beauty. It's slightly wet. So with this, go over everything, especially uh, under the eyes. If you have a lot of product under the eyes, What's going to happen next when you're going to apply powder is all of that product is going to absorb the powder and then no matter how finely milled your powder is, it's still going to crease, crack and look very dry. There are so many thing that, things that influence the, how the, the under eye area look. You're starting with your skincare, your eye cream, your concealer, the way you apply it the powder that you're using that's why when people tell me why is my under eye looking so dry and creased i cannot give you just one answer because there could be so many things if you go over everything with your beauty sponge skin is going to look really really pretty all the layers that you've applied they are going to be sticking together to the skin the whole complexion is not only going to look better but last longer and look amazing in pictures as well now we're going to the next step which is powder setting your foundation with powder for today i'm going to use my good old laura mercier and i'll explain why i prefer to use this on myself because it's a little brightening it is a little brightening i know they say it's translucent powder but it's a little brightening so for the under eye area for my under eyes whenever I want more of a sophisticated look, I love to use this powder. On an everyday look, I love to use the By Terry powder. I'm taking the same damn uh, sponge and I just make sure there's not too much product under the eyes and that's also not creased because it will crease. 
If you have wrinkles, it will crease. Sonia G mini cheek brush, this is part of a set. Anyway, take a small brush. That's all that matters. You don't want a big brush, brush for the under eye area. And then make sure you press the powder into the bristles. And then go over first the concealer area like under the eyes and then down the nose. If you're gonna do swiping motions, you might disturb the foundation, you might disturb the concealer. So don't do that, just do tapping motions. If your mascara tends to smudge under the eyes, make sure you apply the powder a little bit closer to those lashes, lower lashes, because if you do apply a little bit of powder in there, I promise you, your Mascara is not going to smudge. And then I always like to apply some powder around the mouth. I couldn't find anything that would be similar to this. And I'm talking about the Hourglass, the Ambient Lighting Palette. You can use it all over the face. Spectacular, it gives you that golden light, bronze, but extremely subtle. I'm taking this soft cheek from Sonia G. And I apply this exactly the way you would apply a bronzer, like in this three shape, like right here, and then here, and then a little bit in here. I like to apply it on the nose as well. Now, there is a beautiful sheen to the skin. However, I like a little bit more because I'm wild like that. <laughs> and I love this highlighter. You guys know I love this highlighter from NARS. This is in Fort de France. And this one, it's just for the highest points of the face. Like, that's it. And then, that's it. I'm gonna do my eyebrows using the Glossier Brow Flick. There's a whole video about how I use this trick to make my eyebrows look much fuller, but in a very natural way. Okay, now we got closer because we're gonna do the eye makeup and I'm going to use this Tarte. This is Chrome Paint and it's a highlighter. In my opinion, this is way too strong to be used on my skin as a highlighter. So I'm going to use it on my eyes. It's like this. It's, a, it's like a loose powder. And then when I apply it on my skin, check this out, it has a very, very strong shine. If you have it like any stronger highlighter, I suggest you to use it on the eyelids. And then I will take a flat brush, take the same product and apply it a little bit right here, like just on the highest point of my brow bone. This is also from Tarte. It's a chrome paint shadow pot in the color Beach Bay. So I've taken this 221 brush from MAC. I took a little bit of this product. I make sure I press it like into the bristles. Take the excess off and then apply it in the crease. Because why not? And then I go a little bit lower. Okay, now I'm going to take a dark eyeshadow. You could use your bronzer, you could use any darker brown, even like a mauve brown would work as well. I had this palette close by, so I'm going to use it. This is a Natasha Denona number five. I'm taking this, okay? So this is just a any bronzer. And I just create this shadow. When you do this, you kind of want to look straight into the mirror. And I'm starting from the middle of my pupil and I go towards the end of the eye. And when I get to the end of the eye, I just make it a little bit thicker right here. And then can you see this shadow I already have right here? Okay. I intensify that shadow. Take a clean brush, make sure there are no harsh lines. Now I use this pencil so often that I, I almost feel guilty. This is the classic eye powder pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. I get super, super close to the lashes. And then also I intensify this shadow right here with my pencil. 
I connect this part of the eye with this. But everything is done so gently, so softly. Then again, I take that brush, pencil brush, and I make sure everything is nice, diffused. I take again the pencil and I get like really, really close to the lashes, like in between them. Like once I apply the mascara, I want this to be completely like undetectable. I will apply what's left on my brush in the crease. Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I love to apply this MAC Extended Plagica Black Lash for my lower lashes. Now for the lips, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever number 42. And I will overline my lips a lot. Now I'm going to use the Lisa Eldridge uh, lipsticks. Unfortunately, <laughs> they look like this because um, I use them quite a lot. And I'm using both Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Morning. It's only because a lot of you uh, already received the package from Lisa Eldridge, so I thought I should just do a little bit more looks with her lipsticks. I mean, separate, they are just fantastic, but together, it's poetry. Again, this is a Sephora brush. Now this very, very sharp lip contour, it's kind of disturbing for me. It kind of takes away from the softness of the eyes. So I'm taking this shatter brush, just dab it all over the contour. I don't want to make it blurry, I just want to make it less sharp. This is a Zoeva 226 brush. I want to apply some lashes. Changed my mind, this is not ready. Sweet lashes. <laughs> with Nikki makeup created these incredibly natural looking lashes I'm going to use the duo adhesive this is the black one these are very very fragile I'm not gonna lie to you I've already used one box of these and they're a little tricky to get them out of the box but once you get it you're not gonna want to use anything else a lash or two an eternity later I've applied the lashes I've used about this much lashes for both of my eyes. I feel like they look extremely natural. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Will I ever learn to use a setting spray in the right amount? All right guys, this is the final look. I love this little negligee uh, situation that's going on with my hair. Hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the ring bell button. Don't forget to do that before you leave. Check out my Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bitches. Come on, people. What is this thing? No, don't I just look ridiculous? <laughs> Hi, this hair. <laughs> Stay. Let's go.